We measure temperature typically with a thermometer. That's a glass capillary containing a column of liquid, typically mercury or an alcohol. The length of mercury or alcohol varies with temperature. We have several temperature scales that we're going to cover. The first is the Celsius scale, formerly the centigrade scale. It's a temperature scale in general scientific use. The freezing point of water on this Celsius scale is 0 degrees C, and the boiling point of water is 100 degrees C. One thing to realize is that the freezing point of water is our reference temperature that all other freezing points are relative to. Water doesn't naturally freeze at zero. It's something that we set it as to, uh, on our scale. So in, there's, in other words, it's a reference. So when we say that something freezes at 10 degrees C, really what we're saying is it, it freezes 10 degrees C higher than that of water. However, the SI base unit of temperature, you might recall, is the Kelvin, a unit based on the absolute temperature scale, which we'll explain later on in another chapter. The conversion from Celsius to Kelvin is sim simple, since the two scales are, s are simply an offset of 273.15. If you make a change on the Celsius scale of, say, 5 Kelvin, that changes 5 degrees C on the Celsius scale. It's a one-to-one -one ratio in their change that is offset by this 273.15. The equation to convert from one unit to the other, one scale to the other, is Kelvin is equal to degree C plus 273.15. So you just plug in your degree C, add 273.15, and you get your Kelvin. Now, this whole equation is based on this 1 Kelvin to 1 Celsius degree conversion factor. It's hidden in that equation. You don't see it directly, but it's there. Basically, what's happening here is you're saying Kelvin is, is equal to your x degree Celsius time your 1 to 1 ratio of 1 Kelvin to 1 degree C. So what happens is your degree C cancels, and then you end up with a Kelvin plus the 273, giving you your Kelvin units for your answer. In essence, if you plug in 0 degrees C, your 1 to 1 ratio, and add 273.15, we know that 0 degrees C is equivalent to 273.15 Kelvin on the Kelvin scale. The Fahrenheit scale is at, at the present the common temperature scale in the United States. We say that freezing point of water is 30 degrees, 32 degrees Fahrenheit, and the boiling point is 212 degrees Fahrenheit. This difference is important as we talk about the ratio between Celsius and Fahrenheit scale. The conversion of Fahrenheit to Celsius, there is a 1.8 degree Fahrenheit change for every 1 degree change on the Celsius scale, and vice versa. So if you look at your scales, you have Fahrenheit, 32 to 212, that's an 880 degree Fahrenheit scale difference between your freezing point and boiling point of water. On the Celsius scale, you get 0 degrees uh, freezing point and 100 degrees uh, Celsius uh, freeze, uh, boiling point, which is a 100 degrees difference. So in essence, you get a 180 to 100 ratio, which is equivalent to a 1.8 to 1. That's where that comes from. So your equation is degree Fahrenheit is equal to 1.8 times degree C plus 32. If you wanted to solve for degree C, you rearrange it mathematically, subtract the 32 and divide by the 1.8. So you get degree C is equal to degree Fahrenheit minus 32 divided by 1.8. You can either memorize the two equations or be able to calculate it with arithmetic to determine the, uh, the quantity in question. Once again, i like to show you why this works, why if I plug it in degree C do I get degree F. It's all about units and the units have to cancel. Um, you got to realize when I plug in 1.8 I'm really plugging in 1.8 degree F to every 1 degree C. So therefore when I plug that in my degree C's cancel leaving me in degree F. So 1.8 times that plus my 32 gives me my Fahrenheit degree. Let's do some examples. Let's convert 102.5 Fahrenheit to degree C as well as Kelvin. Now you might notice that for Fahrenheit and Celsius we have degree symbols and when we talk about Kelvin we do not have one. 
Well, we have to figure out the equation we want to use. Well, we're going from Fahrenheit to Celsius, so we use degree Fahrenheit is equal to 1.8 times degree C plus 32. I want Celsius, so I've got to rearrange this. So I'll subtract 32 and divide by 1.8, which gives me my new equation. I plug in my value. My Fahrenheit was given. So 102.5 Fahrenheit minus 32 divided by 1.8 gives me 39.1667 degrees C. And then to give my final answer, which is 39.2 degrees C. Note that in this calculation, 1.8 and 32 are exact numbers and do not affect significant figures. So my final sig figs are based on my original number. Since my original number was in the tens place, I'm just switching temperature scales. Therefore, my answer, final answer, has to also be in the tens place. And that's why my final answer ended up being 39.2 degrees C. Now we got to get out Kelvin, so that's simply just taking my degree C and plugging that into my equation, which is 39.2 degree C plus 273.15, which gets me 312.4 Kelvin, once again to the tens place. Let's convert a negative 78 degree C to Kelvin in Fahrenheit. First one's just plugging in the number. We know we got 70, negative 78 degrees C. We plug that into our equation. It gets me negative 78 plus my 273.15, which gets me 195 Kelvin. I'm stopping this in the ones place because my original number was at the ones place. Now, we'll take and do our Fahrenheit. So I have to plug in my negative 78 degrees C into my equation. Gets me 1.8 times a negative 78 degrees C plus 32. Gets me a negative 108 degrees Fahrenheit once again to the ones place. Homework 6 deals with temperature conversions.